Okay guys, in this video here, we're going to do a Dr. Color Chip paint review. Um, I found these guys first on Facebook, and I think I paid around 80 bucks for this kit. So, you give the paint code, and for me, Victory Red. So, it's a very, very easy process. Um, I got the, uh, the squeegee included in my kit as well as the three brushes and then this is the uh, the sealant um, the actual paint itself and I've had this kit now for about three years and then this the squeegee I'm not necessarily sure it's worth it so like right here is what we're gonna attempt to fix real quick so um, maybe but if it's like somewhere where it's completely um, parallel somewhere like this guy right here uh, that squeegee does you no good whatsoever, but we'll start off. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to put some um, quick detailer in a rag or a microfiber cloth. We're just going to clean the area up. Okay. Clean. So next we're going to do is take our, our actual paint itself, Dr. Color Chip, shake it up really good. There's a, the kit also came with a set of gloves that, I mean, I obviously use very early on. You don't need a lot of paint to try to fill it in. And the paint doesn't, you can tell. We'll, we'll just say you can tell. So I've had this front bumper now painted or repainted. Um, two times and I will say that the uh, they did a good job matching the paint but it's never going to be as durable as the OE from GM or at least in my experience I've not had success with the uh, durability of the paint lasting so these these chips keep up from coming up so got my fat brush here and I'm just going to very liberally fill in the hole um, let it sit and in the past I've done I mean if, if I brought the camera closer I could show you easily probably 10 15 20 rock chips and I would do multiple at the same time but if you find yourself doing multiple at the same time um, it's easy to lose track of where you where you've done it at so I would recommend going through the process really one at a time so that way you're not losing track of, of where you painted it. I'm just gonna let that sit and then maybe dab some more paint in there but the, um, the instructions say for prep clean dry surface rubbing alcohol may be used to remove dirt or wax and chips always use gloves and appropriate eye protection in a well ventilated area Work in small six inch sections until you get the hang of the process and ensure you don't run out of sealant. Step one, shake paint well. Dab a small amount of paint next to the chip using the brush applicator. Step two, smear. Immediately smear the paint flat across the chip using the um, neurite glove hand, preferably with the side of the thumb of the Dr. Color Chip beveled squeegee sold separately. So that's that's this right here. So for the sake of it, let's go ahead and see I did it and it messed it up a little bit. So that's why I don't like doing it like that. Because it just drug the paint out with it. So let me reapply. Make sure paint is smeared flat. It should be dry to the touch within two minutes. A standing wet blob of paint allowed to sit in any panel may create haze or haze in the clear coat. So smearing the paint flat is important. Dry time. The paint should be ready for step three after a few minutes, but may remain up to an hour. 
Step four, remove. Shake the seal act, blend solution, and moisten a quarter size section of the included wiping cloth. So that wiping cloth is right here. You can see I've used it several times. Using light pressure and open flat hand, rub over the dry paint, smeared area with the cloth. Blend away excess paint. Do not scrub. Let the chemical do the work. Reapply seal act as necessary. Keep cloths moist. Once all excess paint is removed around the chip, immediately hand buff the area to a shine using a microfiber towel. Repeat the entire process as necessary. Okay. Uh, we'll do two at a time, so same deal. I'm gonna clean this one here off in the corner. So microfiber cloth. Okay, we're good there. Actually, I will put this glove on for the first time ever. Never used it. The kit's like three years old at this point. try because it's just that squeegee. I've never had success using the squeegee. Okay. Smear and I just took it out. Just let that sit for a while. Smear, um, apply it again, smear, okay we'll let that sit, okay I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to go clean my brush, I'm going to reuse this, but I'm going to pause this video. Um, and allow this paint to dry and we'll go on to uh, step two. Okay, so here's the original one. As you can see, my fingertips are clear. Touching it, nothing's coming off. Over here, that one's still, still kind of wet, but in the meantime, the uh, Seal Act blending solution for the step two, and then I've got the, uh, the cloth here. So we're gonna shake it up really well. And then it says to literally apply the cloth, keep the cloth wet. Try to find that spot that I haven't really used. Go over here in the corner. Get it good and wet. Then we wipe away. Cleaning up the microfiber cloth. So you can still see where it was. So we're gonna, it pulled some, some of the paint out, some of the filler paint. So we'll put some more um, seal act on there. It says don't scrub, so light pressure. Keeping it very lubed up so we're not um, destroying the paint around the area. You can still see where it was. Put some more seal act on there, the buffing solution or blending solution. I'm going to push a little more pressure.
second, you can still see get a little more pressure. Try to drag the paint out um, that's built up around it because it's almost like a little re revetment almost. Okay. So got some up in the top. Now I'll tell you one thing I'm gonna do. When I get this repainted again, I am 100% gonna clear bra this. I, I was gonna do it last time, I ran out of time, I had priced it out, uh, the, they're booked up, weren't able to get the appointment in time, and it was like 800 bucks. But that's basically what it costs to paint this, so hopefully next time when I paint this front fascia is the last time. Now moving on over here, same deal. So this actually did a really good job blending it, um, but it doesn't make the paint completely flat. But I think it's just because it's it's on a uh, horizontal from from flat, so the paint doesn't sit perfectly um, and it runs down. So the build up here on the bottom. Let's see if I can get that out. I'll pop the camera off the stand and give you guys a close-up of what these two look like when it's done. Okay. So right there. You can see the uh, indentation of where the actual scrape was. So the paint is just thinner than the... Um, actual rest of the paint and then same deal right here you can see how you can see it really good right there it does a good job blending so like something like that has what it looked like and you can see the uh, I don't know how how deep the scratch is down to the primer um, this one here actually turned out really good so you gotta get really up close to see it but from right there I mean here even right there, you can't see it, but getting back up on it, you can see it right there again. And so I think this kit is worth it. Um, that's probably honestly the best one I've ever done right there. But yeah, Dr. Color Chip, um, they, they claim they can do metallic colors too. So like my C7, it does have a clear bra on the front, thank God. But the clear bra, I don't know if it's self-healing or not, but you can see here, it's, it's, um, it's starting to get ate up in the the front as well so I might have to have that peeled off and once it gets real far gone but um so yeah there's here we have the website here's the kit that I have with the uh, squeegee like I said I don't personally think it's worth it you could probably get by with this kit here Even the basic kit says it repairs up to 12 chips. Um, I would be curious to see how small the paint was. And then here's the double kit for multiple colors. Here's some information about the company, contact, and payment information. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.